Yeah. We we all have a common goal, especially on human rights, and um, we want the world to be a better place for you know our people and our children. And I think we we need to have it fall on people with open ears, not deaf ears. So um, while while we support you here on country, and we'll help in any way we can. Um, you know, and that's why I'm here today to help support your cause in regards to freedom. But um, we we know of the destruction of people coming to country. We have a creek out here called Skeleton Creek. When the British first came to this country, they cut, cut the heads off of my great grandparents and that, and put them on stakes up and down that creek. So if you pass through Skeleton Creek. Just remember what it represents. And I'm sure this, now I'm not sure, I see the destruction that are happening in your country, in Papua, West Papua. And, you know, it's a crime against humanity. And one of the things about Western religion and one of their first commandments is thou shalt not steal. So if that's embedded in their religion and their customs and their laws, why do they continue to steal? Why do they allow these things to happen to us as indigenous people globally? And we see the destruction in West Papua, as we do see in other countries, in the Amazons. Our country is being devastatedly, you know, taken over and for greed. And it comes back to greed. If we look at being one together as people and as a race of people, to sing like you say brother to sing in harmony to sing for the country like our, my old people used to do here on country long time ago we sing for country we sing on country because that's where the spirit is that's where our heart is our spirit and our heart is in the country and it's something that we as indigenous people globally all know that once you sing for country the country is happy to have its people back and the right people on country. So we are with you in your struggle and we are with you with your fight. So the treaty, yes, the treaty needs to be signed. Australia need to actually look at what they're doing and not to continue what they're doing to people because we can't allow this to happen. And that's everyone globally, not just the small factions that are here in Cairns here today. But I say thank you, welcome and um, we're with you in the struggle, though. We're in Cairns, in Gimoy, and that was Guchu Guchu, Yudinji Elder, delivering an address. We're outside the Australian Federal Police offices. One of the things we're going to do today is tear up the Lombok Treaty, yeah? Yeah! yeah. We'll make that a group shot. Well, maybe here's something else. Maybe you can come to the microphone and say why you want to tear it up, and we'll get a photograph of you and your words. Is that a good idea? Yep. First, George is going to speak. Okay. Oh, he's going to sing. <laughs> We're outside the Australian Federal Police offices, asking them to stop training the killers in West Papua. To summarise uh, this. Um, Wonderful event, we would like to uh, present one of the songs from West Papua. So, all the girls come along. The songs will be in Malay Bahasa. Likala Matahari Terbenam. When the sun set, I saw the beautiful panoramic in West Papua. Make me feel strong, make me feel belief, make me continue to fight for my homeland.
Martin Luther King said, you can kill me, but you will never kill my dream. West Papua have a dream. American wife that try to abolish or they try to finish off all the white black men in America. But Martin Luther King continued to fight for his people. Nelson Mandela abolished the brutality of the white people in South Africa. So the girls come along and we can sing one song for our homeland, West Papua. So this is George Damara and family, West Papuans living here in Gimoy Camps. And we're doing a song for West Papua. <laughs> Lawasi Eloparas Rupawan Panorama Tana Papua Kukenan Tatan Kulupa Di Kalam Matahari Terbenan Kukenan Tanegri Chandrawasi, Ella Paras, Rupawan, Panorama, Tana Papua, Kukana, Tatan, Kulupatan, Tukusan, Pulau Pulau, Lukisan, Alam Persora, Negri Kutana Papua, Kukana. Takkan ku lupa Dari jauh terdengar Kepuruk amat menderu Memukul pantai pasir Bermain pulau Pulau ku ku kenang Takkan ku lupakan Dari jauh Pulauku ku kenan takkan ku lupakan Pulau pulauku ku kenan takkan ku lupakan Thank you Sorry, we got another song. So we've been born inside non strike The girls going to see. We've been born inside non struggle. Nami lose him, but us belong me. Close with West Papua. Close with West Papua. We've been born inside non struggle. Nami Lusim, fellas belong me Long sweet West Papua Long sweet West Papua West Papua Glory is coming tomorrow West Papua Glory is coming tomorrow Oh God Papa na mamal idai, nami lusin palas belong me, long sweet West Papua, a long sweet West Papua. 
Apa nama mall ijai Nami lusin palas belong me Long sweet west Papua A long sweet west Papua West Papua Freedom is coming tomorrow West Papua Freedom is coming tomorrow Oh God Give him freedom Oh God Give him freedom West Papua Outside the Australian Federal Police Officers in Gimoy, Cairns, calling on the Australian Federal Police to stop training killers. We're going to tear up the Lombok Treaty. That's the defence treaty now it's your turn. between Australia and Indonesia. And shameful, shameful act. No training killers in yes. West Papua. The idea I'm inviting you. Anyone's up for this to come to the microphone and say why you want to tear up the Lombok Treaty. Yeah? And then we'll get a photograph of you. Tearing it up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There are lots of West Papuan people here and lots of supporters of West Papua. It's the ongoing human rights violations in Indonesia and in West Papua have to stop. We want the Australian... Want to make a personal statement? Come, I'll hold the flag for you. We need the Australian Federal Police to stop training killers in West Papua. We need the Australian Defence Force, the Australian Government to stop supporting human rights violations in West Papua. It's right for him. Hi, my name is Jaffe and so it's a big pleasure for me to be here with what I consider my family from West Papua and it's the least I can do to be here. Uh, one thing I, I want to remind people that here in Cairns we have karma to deal with. Cairns has been a conduit for supplies to Freeport Mine in West Papua, which I understand to be possibly the most lucrative gold mine in the world. So the Lombok Treaty is all about silence, maintaining the silence. It's riddled with guilt and bad karma, this treaty. It, to me, it's a deal. You know, the U.S. says, "Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll con we'll control, we'll allow Indonesia to maintain control over West Papua. Just let us keep taking the gold." So it's got nothing to do with principles, nothing to do with human rights. It's all about money. And here in Cairns, we've got the same karma about money. And so, for many, many years, for decades. Cairns has been profiting from that Freeport mine. And uh, we in Cairns need to recognize that and deal with that. We have some responsibility for the oppression of the people of West Papua and the violence committed to people who are standing up for their rights in a non-violent way. So I just wish everybody safety and protection in West Papua because we know there's been so much abuse Day. Thank you. This treaty has got to go. It stands for oppression, it stands for guilt, and it's against human rights. So freedom for the people of West Papua. Let's 
So here we have everybody tearing up the treaty. Children, elders, everybody's tearing up the Lombok Treaty here. No more collaboration with murder. No more collaboration with displacement, torture, all in the name of human rights violations, all in the name of resource extraction. The sisters here are determined. A big tear, you're ready, for those who haven't talked. And just like that, the Lombok Treaty is gone. We can Papua Medica! Papua Medica! Okay, my friend. Let's tighten it up and get out of the sun.